In this Excel video, I will show you 10 more quick tips that will transform how you use Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. And quick tip number one is remove duplicates. To do this, just click somewhere inside your data, hold the Alt key, hold the A key, and tap M. And this will bring up the remove duplicates pop-up. It shows that all of my columns are selected, my data does have headers, and then I'll just click OK. Now before I do this, please notice that John Doe is listed on this spreadsheet twice with all of the same information. So when I click on OK, it's going to remove one of the two duplicate values or rows really in this case. I'll click OK and the duplicate is gone. Quick tip number two is text to columns. And as with most of these quick tips, there's often an option that you can find here in the tabs and ribbon, but let's learn the quickest method for doing each of these things. So here I have the start date of each of these employees. I would like to split the text that is in this column and distribute it over these three columns. So I'm gonna select column F, it highlights the entire column, and then I'll hold the Alt key, hold the A key, and tap E. This brings up the text to columns wizard. There are a few different options, but in most cases you'll want to click Next, and then select what it is that's gonna separate the data. Is there a blank space between each item that you want to separate? If so, you would choose Space. Is there a tab between each? Is there a semicolon or a comma? If there are none of those things, you'll need to go down here to Other and specify what it is that will separate the different parts of the data in these cells so that Excel knows how to split it out. So I just put in a dash and I'll click Next. And actually, I can just click Finish at this point. I get a warning that there's already some data in these columns. That's OK. I'll click OK. And this data has been split into three separate columns. Now I could click on G1 and type in month, tab over to H1 and type in day. Let's move on to quick tip number three, which is flash fill. And I'm going to use flash fill to do something very similar to what I just did when I distributed the date across multiple columns. Here at the left, I have employees listed with first and last name together but I would like to split that out. And I could do text to columns for this, and there are a couple of other ways I could do this using formulas, but instead, I'm just gonna type the word John here in cell B2. Tap enter, and notice that I am now below the data I've just entered. All I have to do to fill the rest of this information down is hold control and tap E, and Excel performs a flash fill. What's happening here is when you do control E, Excel examines the information that I put above or to the right or to the left and tries to figure out a pattern. In this case, Excel discovered that in cell A2, it says John Doe, and in cell B2, I typed John, and Excel is smart enough when I activate Flash Fill to figure out that Jane probably goes here and Michael probably goes here. Let's try it with last name. If I click here on cell C2, I can type Doe, tap Enter, hold Control, tap E, and Flash Fill does the rest of the work. Quick tip number four is conditional formatting. Conditional formatting gives me the ability to change how data is displayed in the spreadsheet. So for example, the salaries of these employees. Maybe I'd like to highlight the higher salaries in a certain color, the lower salaries in a different color, or something like that. I can do that, and there are a couple of ways I could do it. I could click on column E and go into the tabs, click, look in the styles group here on the home ribbon. There's conditional formatting, but there's a faster way. If you click on column E, hold Alt on the keyboard, tap O, and then release it, and tap D. That will open the conditional formatting rules manager, and you can set up a new rule and I want to format all cells based on their values, I want the highest value in this column to come in very green. And I'm gonna scoot this over so you can see the values that I'm working with. I want the lowest values to appear in dark red. I click OK and then apply and OK again. And my data now is displayed differently depending on the values in that range. 
The higher numbers are green, the lower numbers are red, and the in-between numbers come in like brown or a little green. Conditional formatting is a fantastic feature in Excel. If you want to learn more, please watch my many videos on conditional formatting. Quick tip number five is hide and unhide. There are times when you would need to maybe print a spreadsheet with only some of the data, or you just want to temporarily hide some of the data and then be able to bring it back later. And there are multiple ways to do this, but let's learn the keyboard shortcut. Let's say I decide I need to hide Emily Davis's records and Sarah Wilson's. So I've selected a cell in each of those rows. It doesn't have to be the entire row. You don't even have to use the row numbers here at the left. Just click and drag to highlight some data in the rows that you want to hide. Then hold Control and tap 9, and those two rows are hidden. It looks like they're gone completely, but if you look here at the left, they're still there. They're just being hidden. Excel has skipped rows 5 and 6, but they're still there. To unhide them, you would hold Control, hold Shift, and tap 9, and the hidden rows are restored. What about columns? Maybe I want to hide the salaries and the start dates. I can hold Control and tap 0, and those two columns are now hidden. Now, to unhide these columns, I'm going to click and drag from D to G, right-click on one of the column letters, and choose Unhide, and those columns return. All right, quick tip number six is Find and Replace. For Find and Replace, all you have to do is be clicked somewhere in your spreadsheet, hold Control and tap H, and that brings up Find and Replace. Let's say the terminology in our small business changes, and instead of using excellent, we switch to the much more accurate fabulous. So I want to find what? I want to find the word excellent, and I want to replace it with fabulous. I'll click replace all, and instantly those changes are made in my spreadsheet. I'll click close. Now for quick tip number seven, select entire row or column in Excel. There are many times in Excel when we want to change something about an entire row or column. For example, I want to change the background color of row number one. So I'll click on cell A1, hold the shift key, and tap spacebar, and the entire row, all the way off to the right, is selected. And now I can click on cell styles, for example, to change the background color. So shift space will select and highlight the entire row, while control space will select an entire column. And I could similarly change its color as well. Quick tip number eight is group rows or columns. So as you can see here, I have the full names of the employees here at the left, but I also have them broken out by first name and last name. I may not always need all of that information. So I'm gonna group columns B and C, and then I'll hold the Alt key, hold the Shift key, and tap the right arrow. And now the look of my spreadsheet has subtly changed. You can see I now have this bar across the top and it has a minus button. If I click the minus button, columns B and C are grouped together and kind of hidden. If I click the plus sign, they are still grouped together, but now they're expanded and I can see all of that data. It's time now for quick tip number nine, which is insert comment. I'm gonna click here on Emily Davis's record for her performance. I'll just click on fabulous. I'm gonna hold the shift key and tap F2. And when I do, it inserts a little comment box into that cell. So I can type a comment about Emily's performance. There we go. Now if I click away, the comment is hidden, but there's a little symbol there in the corner telling me that there is additional information here. There's a comment, and if I put my mouse on it, it's displayed. And it's time now for our final quick tip of this video, which is select all cells. To do this, click somewhere in your data, hold Control and tap A, and the entire range of your data will be selected, and then you can either copy it, or you could change its background color, or its font type, whatever you want to do. Now, after tapping Control A, if you hold Control and tap it again, Excel will highlight not just your range of data, but the entire worksheet. This can be very useful if you want to make changes to every cell in the worksheet. So those are 10 more Excel quick tips. 
that will transform how you use this amazing application. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.